So what if you could find your dream home at a discount? Sounds, sounds nice, right? Wow. So there's a place in San Antonio where homes are sold to the highest bidder. Ken's Five reporter Zach Briggs went to see what it takes to become a bidder and what experts say you should do if you're at risk of defaulting on your mortgage. On the first Tuesday of every month, like-minded people gather outside the Bear County Courthouse, bidding for their next financial opportunity. For us, we find properties under market that we could fix and resell and make a profit. Okay, does everybody understand? The public housing auction attracts investors from all over. Eddie Lozano has been selling homes for 10 years. He just bought another one for $186,000. We got it more than we wanted to pay for, but it's still 2017, so it's a good investment. Online, the Bear County Clerk's Office lists more than 300 foreclosed properties homes in which the borrower has defaulted on their mortgage by missing monthly payments. And it has to be attorney William Clanton stressed major life crises often lead to the complex process of foreclosure. 95 or 96 percent of people who default on their mortgages or on credit cards or other financial obligations do so because of a death in the family, a, a loss of a job, the illness of a loved one. In Texas, foreclosures rose by 187.3 percent going from a little more than 4,000 in the first six months of 2021 to about 11,500 in the first half of 2022. I think a lot of the foreclosures, at least pre-pandemic, were um, home flippers, people who are buying a home um, at a deep discount to renovate it and then flip it and then sell it. Facing foreclosure is not easy. That's why San Antonians are encouraged to arm themselves with knowledge and take action before it's too late. If people would just call their realtor, whoever sold them the house, tell them, hey, I'm falling behind on my bills, what can I do? A lot of times the banks will work with you, they'll do a forbearance till you get back on your feet. It's about 1,800 square foot. As for Lozano, he's planning to fix up this northwest side home. You walk into the dining room area. And sell it for about $260,000. How much work is needed? Probably would have to put laminate flooring and then carpeting in the bedrooms, paint job. And if you're seriously thinking about bidding in one of these monthly auctions, you'll need at least $200,000 to $300,000 on hand, cash only. And in an ever fluctuating housing market, Lozano says proper money management is vital. Third and final call. If you don't do your homework, finalizing sale, you could lose a lot of money potentially. That property will sell for two. Zach Briggs, Ken's Five.